ever wanting to have some kind of a swim and you felt hot but you were arachnophobic this would be the very very worst pan for you to have a little dip into that is a massive water spider of some description and I don't know exactly what kind of spider it is but I can tell you that it is probably not venomous despite its rather fearsome look now what I will do is try and inspire it onto the surface of the water. What I think it's doing here is just touching the surface. I don't know if you can see that. It's touching the surface with one limb. And by doing that, I suspect that it's probably attracting things. Perhaps bottom-dwelling insects, maybe even tadpoles or small frogs that would like to come up and see if that isn't an insect that they can grab and eat. There are lots of little subsurface insects and things and possibly frogs that keep leaping to the top of the surface and then going down again. And I think that is almost like a fishing rod for this amazing spider. It has astounding colors on it. This one here? No, there's a yellow one to the left. Oh, I saw that one too, yes. But have you seen this one? Yeah, we've got it. It looks like it's eating another spider. Oh, it is eating another spider. <laughs> yes, I couldn't see that. This is amazing. It is indeed eating another spider. <laughs> Hello. You're not very nice. You're eating your own kind. I suppose it's a bit like a chimpanzee eating a baboon or a, a monkey. A or a leopard eating a leopard except that they're not the same species. They're as far removed from each other, probably, as we are from Impala, for example. Isn't that cool? Now, there are lots and lots of these spiders around here on the water. Maybe that's what this thing was, that's what that limb in the water is intended to do, attract these surface-dwelling spiders. Can you see any others, Fiam? To, to my left, there's a surface-dweller. No, a surface-dwelling spider there. In front of me, over there, on the surface, is what this thing is eating. Can you see it there? Yeah, two or three of them. Now that's what this spider has grabbed, and I suspect it probably just jiggles its limb in the water here like you would a fishing rod, and perhaps it attracts those spiders across here, and then it grabs them, digs its fangs inside, and sucks them dry. Really is not a nice way to go. We've seen two deaths this morning.